this is geometry of circles part three, right? We did part one and two, and in part three, we are going to learn about tangent properties of circles, right? Uh, when, when you do this, these sums, you may need to apply uh, the rules that you have learned in part one and two, please, okay? Uh, once you know those rules, it will be very easy to solve uh, sums from part three. If you haven't watched part one and two, it will be very tough for you to follow these sums, okay? Now, let's look at the uh, ob objectives of the, of the day, right? So, let, let, let's say uh, aims of the day, they are on the scre screen, please. Uh, to be to be able to right the first one study and un understand tangent properties of circles we need to define a tangent first right so by the end of the lesson you should be able to study and follow the meaning of tangent properties of cir circles right now the second aim of the day or second aim of the lesson to be able to apply the above properties and solve circle geometry. So, we need to solve lots and lots of sums based on those rules, okay? Based on these rules, please. Now, look at the keywords. Keywords you need, you need to know because we use them in this lesson. The first one is, is called tangent. The first one is tangent. Now, we will see what is the meaning of this, okay? Well, the second one is point of contact, right? These two have a link, so we will go over that now in a minute. The, the next one is alternate segment, right? The third rule is actually based on alternate segment. You got to know the spellings there. These are the ones we actually use in this lesson. The famous keyword comes, it's a right angle which is 90 and we also call it as perpendicular. It's called uh, a segment, then we have isosceles, then it's a tan chord. So watch out, I will be using these keywords when we solve these sums, okay? Now, let's, let's, let's go and see, let's go and see uh, the first rule based on tangent and its meaning right there is a circle on the screen right look at the circle on the screen please right uh, there is a green line a green line is here watch the green line will touch the circle at just one point right if a straight line is going to touch a circle at just one point we call that straight line as a tangent so that's the definition of a tangent, please. Tell me then, what is a tangent? It's a straight line that will touch a circle at only one point. The point where the, the tangent will touch is called the point of contact, okay? In our keywords, we said point of contact means it's the point where the tangent meets the circle okay it's not going to intersect in two points please no it will meet the circle in one point and it will pass through that's called a tangent now let's look at the rule the first rule says well o is the center and this is the tangent let's just write those uh, names there well this is the center center point let's call this point as a you also write in your wor worksheets please that's a I would like to call one more point somewhere there as a T. So that, that's a point T. Now, A T is a tangent. O A is a radius. The rule says the angle between tangent and a radius at the point of contact, watch the key, keyword please, at the point of contact is always 90. So that's a right angle, you got to remember that. Well, it's an L shape, come on. So that's a right angle. Now, so it's 90 degrees, please. Okay, you cannot draw a radius there. The radius must meet the tangent at the point of contact. Then the angle between those two will be 90. Right, that's the first rule. Tell me. Angle between tangent and radius is 90. Simple rules, right? But 
at the point of contact. You got to know that, right? Second rule. Second rule, please. Do not waste much time. Second rule says, I got a circle and if you carefully see, I have an external point. Watch there. Right? It's the left hand side of the screen, please. There is a point. Now, this is an external point and I was given a circle and a center point O there, right? How many tangents can you draw to this circle? How many tangents can you draw from this point? Let's practically see how many tangents we can actually draw, right? Uh, I would like to draw the first one, watch. Well, you all have to know the tangent meets the circle at one, one point only. So that's the point there. It's going to meet the circle at one, one point. So let's see. That is the point. So I have drawn a tangent. It is going to meet the circle at one point. Right. Now let's look at the second tangent. Can you draw a tangent there? You cannot because it will pass through, right? It should meet the circle only at one point. So I'm drawing the second one. Watch there. So there are two tangents that one can draw uh, to a given circle from an external point. Okay. So this is the second law one needs to know. Plus, at the same time, if I consider this point to be the point of uh, it will meet the circle at one, one, one point and we call this point as point of contact. Okay, that's a point of contact, please. Let me write, that's a point of contact. Now, I have another point here which is also considered to be the point of contact. If you measure these two lines, if you measure those two lines, the length will be same up to the point of contact only please up to the point of contact only let's just go and see measure that line and then say right uh, that's where we have please watch this screen I got this length roughly as 11.3 let me call it as 11.3 please that's 11.3 and if you measure this side also it should be 11.3 right that's again 11.3 or somewhere very close to that 11.2 or 3 right roughly 11.2 or 3 so the the law says now from an external point you can draw only two tangents to a given circle and these two tangents will be equal in length up to the point of contact only we ignore this this line please this we are not going to take into account. We are not in interested in this line here up to the point of contact only. Okay. Now, second law, think. From an external point, we can draw only two tangents to a given circle. You got a circle, you got an external point. If you want to draw you can draw only two tangents. You cannot draw more than two. So that's the second law. Also, it says, if you measure the two tangents up to the point of contact, the lengths will be same. So, okay, the lengths will be same. That's the second law, right? Now, uh, so those are the two laws that we have learned. Well, the first one is the angle between radius and tangent is a right angle right and the most important thing is at the point of contact okay the second law is here we just did that now let's let's go and see a third one that's number three please it's on the screen page